today I'm going to show you before we get our data how we can sort through that data for example you might have a search field right a search bar and you will send a name to the backend and the backend will look into the database and the database will search through all of the data that you have in your database and then will get the specific data that is a match to the name in the search bar so I'm going to show you how you can filter your data how you can sort through that data how you can limit that data so let's get started so in the previous tutorials we've created our database we've connected to the database we've created our controllers and all of this stuff so let's go into the post controllers right and when we do a get request for example right let me just do a get request and I've added more data into the database for this example and here we're getting the title of the posts that is the action post and an adventure post one and then action post two and action post three and adventure post two but I don't want all of this data let's say I just wanted one field right well you can do that which is find one okay if I save this so what does find one do find one basically just returns the first field that matches whatever we're trying to find okay so if I send this it's finding the first object and then returning the first object so that's find one and you can put in something like its title I'm gonna grab it manually so let's say I want this title right I'm just going to copy this back I'm just gonna say title and then put in the title and here what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy from here just to save time and I'm gonna get the title okay after you've done this I'm gonna save this and now it's action post one and it's returning the title okay but we might not be putting in the specific name because this is matching a hundred percent of the title okay you might not want to do that you might be putting in let's say only one right so I want every post that has the number one in it so if I wanted to create something like that right I would just use find which is gonna return every single post but I want to limit that right and I want to match one and get all the posts that only have the number one so I'm gonna add rejects and here I'm just gonna do this and between this what I'm gonna add is title okay actually it's like this and options gonna add I so that it's case insensitive and so let's save this if I just sent in actually let me just send in two so that I get every post that has the number two okay we have an error I forgot to add the dollar sign let me just save that and now this should work so let's do this again and we have got nothing so the reason we we're getting nothing is because we're adding spaces so it's taking in the spaces as well you do not need to add any spaces here okay let me just save this and let me just submit this again as you can see I'm getting every post that has two let's say I said three I'm getting only one post because there is only one post that has the number three so it's working 
So actually, let's just go back to all of the posts. So let's go into the second thing, which is let's say I don't want all of these posts, right? I just want the first two posts. So how you can do that is here, you can add dot and then limit. And what you can do here is now limit this by let's say two. If I limit this by two, I should be get actually, you know what, let's limit this by three. And when I'm gonna submit this request again, right? I'm gonna get the first three, which is action post one, adventure post one, and action post two. These three are the only ones that I'm gonna get. And action post one, adventure post one, action post two. Okay, I'm only getting three. And that's how you can limit your data. And you can also skip over certain data. So to skip over data, just use dot skip. And then let's say I don't want the first one. Okay. I'm going to skip over the first one. I'm going to save this. And the first one is action post one. So I am going to save this. And as you can see, I am getting three, but it skipped over the first one. Okay. So I'm getting the next three. And since there are a total of five right now, let's say I skip three. And I'm trying to get three, meaning I should be getting six, but I only have five in the database. So what this is going to do is skip over the first three and only get the last two. That's what's happening with this right now. And I'm just going to save this and you'll only see the last two posts because we only have a total of five. As you can see, we're only getting two and this is these are the last two posts. So we're only getting a total of two out of the three limit that we have because we only have five and it's skipping over three. So this is how you end up sorting through your data. Actually, I've forgotten one more thing. Actually, let me just show you. Um, I am actually going to remove both of these. Okay, I don't need them right now. And I'm going to get all of the data first. And then I'm going to show you how you can arrange the data that you get by ascending order or descending order. So as you can see, we're getting all of the posts and this is according to what's in the database. So to sort through this, you just add what you want to check from the result so that you can use it to sort through your data. I'm going to use title and you can use ascending order or descending order by setting it to one. If I save this, you're seeing Action post one, action post three, and so on and so forth. But let's say I want this in descending order, right? It's really simple. All you do is add a minus and then just save this. And as you can see, adventure posts are the first results and it's in descending order. I mean, the second one is first and then the first one is second and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is how you do ascending and descending order. So like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.